Hi, you guys. It's Dr. Carmen Bryant from Overcoming Narcissist Abuse. I just wanted to come on really quick and let you guys know that I will not be on tonight. As I promised, I would let you guys know we do have a guest um, here from out of town. And so you see I'm in my car. Um, and so I apologize. Uh, as you see, I'm kind of tired. Uh, we've been having conferences for the last two weekends. They've really been awesome. Uh, but I will not be on tonight because I'm not in a place to record. Uh, not record, but I'm not in a place to come on live, uh, you know, to have the privacy of, of the question and answers uh, with you guys. And so I apologize, but I do want to come and give you a word of encouragement for the weekend. Do know that uh, like many of you giving me, you know, letting me know in your emails that, you know, all this time you thought you were crazy. No, you're not crazy. Narcissism is real. For those of you that were asking, you know, is there any quick information I can give where you can just, <laughs> I guess you guys think you're RoboCop and it just show up in your visor and it says, you know, give you all the information about the individual. And then it gives you a little red alert that says, narc, narc, narc. Well, believe you me, even me as a trained professional um, therapist, even me sitting in counseling sessions, um, I do not pick up on narcissism that quick. You know, it takes a, well, sometimes it takes a minute you know, and sometimes you can kind of see little uh, signs and symptoms, but that doesn't necessarily mean that, uh, you know, I can diagnose narcissistic personality disorder that quick. And sometimes it flies under the radar. So you don't know you're dealing with a narcissist, you know, even though these videos are very informative and it gives you step by step, uh, you know, information, uh, you guys are being able to, you know, listen to the videos and relate to your experiences. But that's from your experiences because you were in it. You know, and uh, the, the the information that you're getting on the video is giving you some ideas of what you were dealing with. And a lot of you are having that aha moment, as you say, that aha moment. But uh, realistically, you know, think about it. This right here is years worth of studying, years worth of experiences, you know, clinical experiences to come and give you a video, you know, discussing narcissistic personality disorder. So even me as a professional sitting in a clinical setting, NPD is not easy to pick up on a lot of times. And then remember, they're very charismatic. You fell for them. You didn't know they were a narcissist. Um, and many of you guys have been with them for many, many years. So you, you didn't, you know, and a lot of you ask questions like, I don't know if they're a narcissist or not. They have this A, B, C, and D, but I'm not sure. And so I do advise you guys look through the plethora of videos that are in my repertoire. That sounds really cute, huh? Repertoire. Uh, but go look in, in the, uh, you know, the arch, uh, the art, I was going to say the arsenal. Well, it could be arsenals, but the archives of um, the videos that I've um, recorded previously. And a lot of you, as I told you guys, you know, not for someone to come and say, yes, you are with a narcissist. That really doesn't matter is when you have the revelation that, oh, my gosh, it just dawned on me. I am with or have been with a narcissist. A lot of us didn't find out until after the fact. I didn't find out until after the fact, after 22 years, you know, is when I realized, oh my gosh, I had the epiphany, like, oh my gosh, you know, um, this is a narcissist. Uh, and there are a lot of people that didn't know that they were with a narcissist until they've invested many, many years into the relationship. And so if this happened to you as you were dating and you didn't find out until later on, imagine, you know, as a clinician, we do look for signs and symptoms. You know, we do look for, you know, uh, certain conversations we do, but you know, it's not something that's picked up on that, that quick, you know, it gives you more awareness and it makes you more sensitive, you know, uh, with toxic individuals, you know, so now you have an idea about these toxic individuals and nine times out of ten you know in your lifetime you're going to run into a lot of narcissists bosses friends family you know loved ones people that you dated people that you've been married to so hopefully these videos are giving you an opportunity to look uh, and and look at the signs and symptoms. Like I said, uh, educate yourself. That's the best way of um, becoming aware of your situation, what you may be in, what you may have coming out of, you know, and then the shock, you know, there is the seven stages of grief. You guys look up the seven stages of grief. You know, um, seven stages of grief is not just something that people go through um, when you have a loved one die. The seven stages of grief can be, you know, you can go through that when you lose a job, when you retire, when you lo lose a relationship, when you when you lose a loved one, you know, but people go through the seven stages of grief, too. You don't go in, in all what well, there's some some that are five stages of grief. And then there are some that are seven stages of grief. I usually use the seven stages of grief uh, model, but go look at the seven stages of grief. And, um, you know, people do not go in chronological order. Sometimes people don't go through all seven of the stages. Sometimes you fluctuate back and forth. You think that you've uh, mastered one and then you end up going back to it again, like the, the denial, the, the bargaining, you know, the, the anger, you know, the bitterness, uh, 
you know, uh, back and forth, you know, some of you, and especially, especially narcissistic personality disorders, it's like the grieving process is longer because how insidious the abuse, you know, or hideous or insidious, uh, the abuse was because why would a person do another human, human being like this? Well, a person that has a, a personality disorder, that's, that's what they do. And so your, you know, recovery process and grief and loss process may be longer than the average person because of the type of abuse this was, uh, psychological, some physical as well, you know, but the psychological abuse that someone would actually think of how to do what they're doing and like the way it feels and like to see someone suffer and be and and be tormented that brings them pleasure and so for your healing process it's not like the average domestic violence healing process or an average or I'm not gonna say normal but the average you know uh, uh, relationship breakup is not the same and some of you guys are still you're in shock even after years you're in shock there's no possible way that this individual could have been like this how was I in a relationship with an individual that truly did not love me, that have the, the, the did not have the the ability to love me because they don't have the ability to feel empathy or feel compassion for people. That's the hard part that most people uh, don't understand. But you're trying to understand the narcissist based off of your empathetic, compassion, compassionate mind. They don't think the same way that you do. You know, most of us are like, how can you do another human being like this? How can you do a person like this? Well, a narcissist doesn't think that way. And so hopefully, you know, share these videos, go through the videos, pick out videos that fit your situation. I guarantee you, uh, out of all the videos that are in there, you're going to find a lot of them that are going to fit you. Build up your strength. Some of you guys are trying to figure out how to get out of your situation. I don't recommend just jumping up and jumping out of the rec uh, out of the uh, relationship for some of you guys are married some of you have children some of you guys live together and so to each state it has its own laws you can't just jump up and take your children and leave the state or abandon the relation or the relationship or the marriage or you know whatever there are certain laws that even when you've had common law marriage meaning you're not married and you're living together there are also laws that may govern that relationship and properties and children especially because in some some states you can be um let me turn the light back on some of you guys can be um charged for kidnapping and so my advice to you is get a legal advocate get a domestic violence advocate um and see remember with domestic violence advocate um they some of them don't understand the narcissist abuse, but they understand psychological abuse. They just need to be educated on narcissist abuse. And so you let them know, you know, the severe and some of them, you know, well, if you weren't beaten or if you weren't, you know, physically abused and it's not that serious. People kill themselves over psychological abuse is just as serious as, as uh, physical abuse. So don't ever let an advocate, don't ever let a legal advocate or a domestic violence advocate tell you that, you know, um, that psychological abuse is not as bad as physical abuse. Yes, it is. It's just as bad because then you become your, it's like you become your worst enemy too because you want to kill yourself, you know, because you can't handle that type of torment. And so, you know, uh, I encourage you guys when you talk to them, ask them if they understand psychological abuse because most of them do you know the, the the domestic violence advocate they do understand psychological abuse they just don't understand the in-depth abuse that happens with a narcissist and you go use them use a legal advocate you know get legal advice before you get up and go they do have relocation programs where if you need to flee you and your children need to flee for safety or flee for your life that they will assist you in even relocating and having to change your identity if you need to you know so there is help out there go find a, a ywca which has a uh, program for education, but educate yourself with these videos and build up your strength. Some of you guys are like, I don't have the strength to go. Not yet. You know, but when you watch these videos and you build up your strength, you build up your courage, you build up your knowledge bank. And when you feel confident, like now I realize it was never me, then you may have the strength to finally go. But do know that in the, the midst of leaving, you will have withdrawals. It's just like being a uh, alcoholic or a drug addict because that person ended up, the narcissist ended up being your drug. And many times you get hoovered back and forth back into the relationship. And so you want to beat yourself up because you fell for the hoover but do know that it's just a matter of time that the mass is going to slip off and the cycle begins again. And so hopefully you guys are getting something out of these videos. Please go through the repertoire 
of videos in my archives and you know uh go and check and see which one fits you uh you know as we learn as we get more information as uh, i continue to study you know when you when i make new videos and i come and revisit a topic usually i come back with some more information that i've gotten and to add to and then create another video and so once again i thank you guys for sending me emails thank you guys so much for the accolades you know i really appreciate and i'm so thankful you guys do share do know that i have have a very very high call volume even my voicemail I feel bad for my clients that actually come to me because my voicemail overfills itself I don't even know how to get more uh, um, voicemail space um, because you know and I and and unfortunately I cannot answer all the calls I cannot call everyone if you're needing services please email me dr. Carmen Bryant the R C A R M E N B R Y A N T at Outlook dot com and I will send you information excuse me information on my coaching services uh what's the difference between coaching and counseling first of all i'm a licensed mental health counselor here in the state of washington and in the state of washington is the only place that i can practice uh, mental health counseling and so if you do have insurances you can check my webpage. on my webpage, it does have uh, the insurances that i um, accept but that means that you have to come to my office location to seek services i am um I am certified, well, I am um, a VA choice provider as well. I am a veteran and I'm a VA choice provider through the Veterans Administration to provide services for veterans in state, um, not out of state. I can't do it out of state because I'm not licensed out of state. Um, and I also do EAP services for those that are in state. So remember, uh, when you guys are calling and wanting services and you're giving me your information, uh, med, uh, you know, um, your uh, health insurances, um, I cannot counsel outside of the state of Washington in order to receive counseling services from me, meaning mental health and, and emotional counseling. You know, you have to come to my office, um, cash, or you can do... Um, um, insurance policies. Um, so you be in and, and I do when I think someone asked me what the difference between the coaching and counseling is, uh, with counseling, I provide you with a mental health assessment, give you a diagnosis, and then we work on a plan, uh, whether I refer you over to med providers to provide you with medication management or assistance with, you know, if you have anxiety, uh, depression, PTSD, and I do referrals, you know, if I, you know, think maybe you have some medical issues and then we sit down and we work on those emotional problems, trauma, past events. Coaching, the difference between counseling and coaching is with coaching, I'm going to coach you to where you're trying to go. You have to develop a goal. You know, uh, even though you've been through, you know, narcissist abuse, now what? Now where I'm going to do? You know, I have nothing. I have no, no job. I have nothing. They've taken all my money. I don't have a career. I don't have anything. You know, how do I rebuild myself from this atrocity that I have been through? And so with coaching, uh, I work with you to put together a plan. Where are you trying to go? What do you want to see yourself doing? Do you need a job? Do you need, you know, do you need to find a counselor? We can find you, you know, a, a counselor, uh, you know, provide, I will provide you with the resources to find yourself a counselor, um, you know, within your state. Do you need resources like YWCA? Do you need, um, you know, the um, domestic violence hotline? Um, I provide you with resources, but you come up with a plan and then you come up with goals. We Well, we come up with goals to get you to your ultimate goal. You know, do you need to go back to school? How do you need to put, uh, you know, money to the side when you do this? What are my suggestions? What do you, what have you done already to this point? How am I going to get my life back together after this? You know, how do I uh, get back on my feet and move forward from what has happened. So I cannot provide what counseling, a lot of you guys that are contacting me that are wanting my assistance, what you really are wanting is counseling. Uh, and I cannot provide counseling across state lines. Uh, I am looking into getting um, a, a, a license in the state of California. Uh, I'm working on that and checking in for the credentials in California because California and Washington have uh, similar requirements and it's easy to travel to California or if if um, I'm, I'm unable to travel to California, at least I will be able to um, see if I can get into the telemental health uh, services to um, provide um, 
uh, counseling services via uh, it's not FaceTime it's something te telemental health is its own program uh, but I am working currently on researching the credentialing um, in the state of California so those that are in the California area uh, I'm trying to get my credential there and I think as a licensed practical counselor uh, in the state of uh, California uh, so I'm trying to get my license there for those of you that are there um, and try to arrange um, where I can do office spaces there if I have to fly in. If not, it may just be telemental health, you know, temporarily for now. So for those of you that have been asking, also there's a program that has been offered to me to, um, I'm going to, uh, I have to go look at the information at what I have to provide you guys um, to, for you guys, to, if you need counseling in your area, that you'll be able to go on this program to um, look for counselors in your area. And I'm going to put it in to my um in my underneath my video but i'm not going to put it in today's video because i need to research to make sure that i properly identify who they are and give the proper credentials because it is a paid sponsorship and so i want to make sure that i'm i'm correct when i prevent uh, pre present the information to you guys but you'll be able to go on there and look for specific counselors and you just let me know you know uh, you know domestic violence counsel what you're looking for so you know you can go in there and look for that in your area and i think this is a worldwide um a program for worldwide assistance, you know, based on what I've been told. And so I will go look, ask more questions. And then uh, to let you know, it is a paid sponsorship. I will let you know, and I will post the link under my videos. And so I am um, getting ready to go home. And so, uh, so I just want to come on just really quick, let you guys know that I will not be coming on live tonight. And so I apologize. I miss you guys. I need to talk to you guys. You can tell that I'm tired, right? You can tell my little makeup coming off. Uh, so I am a little tired and you see my eyelashes are not doing right. So I am tired. Um, but um, thank you guys so much for all your support, all your love, all the emails. Uh, and like I said, you know, my emails, my voicemails is just full to the capacity. And for some of you guys that are inboxing me, I cannot respond to everybody. And I really apologize. Uh, I will start, you know, when you message me, I'm going to have a, you know, it is an automatic response. And in the automatic response, I will send you my uh, email address so that if you want services, um, I can send you information on my services. Uh, I do not provide free services. You know, these YouTube videos are your free services from me. Uh, and some of you guys, I understand, you know, you can't afford uh, coaching at this particular time. So I advise you, you know, go through YouTube. Uh, but a lot of times I have people asking if I can chat. Can you give me a call real quick? And there we go. Uh, can I give you a call real quick? And, you know, I just want to tell you something. It doesn't work that way. I can't do that. I'm a busy lady. Uh, you know, I got family. I got a business. I have, a, uh, you know, I, I, I'm i also, also a, uh, I work at a ministry to support my mentor and I travel a lot with her. And so I don't, I can't just pick up the phone and call people just to chit chat real quick. You know, that's just not something I'm, I'm able to do. I am a uh, paid provider and I do provide services, you know, for a fee. And so, you know, I'm sorry. I know somebody said that I was the homie, that you guys feel like I'm the homie, auntie, big sister, counselor, therapist, narcissist specialist. I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm so honored at that title, uh, but I I can't just pick up the phone and chit chat with you guys. I wish I could. I wish I had that much time in a day. That means if I did it for one, I got to do it for like a thousand different people. That means I won't be able to get anything done. I'll just be answering calls all day long. And believe it or not, some of you guys may not believe this. I don't even like talking on the phone. So I do talk on the phone to conduct business and everything, but I'm not a phone talker. Uh, so but I do appreciate you guys' support and thank you for your patience with me uh, as I try to get through the, you know, I do see some of the suggestions that you guys are asking me to make videos. Some of the, the requests that you have, though, are actually have videos in, in the uh, archives. So go look. And so if you have not bought my book, make sure you go check it out on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. It is Unmasking the Illusion of Perfection. You guys go order the book if you want to read the ebook or you want to read Kindle uh, with Amazon. Please order the book. Share the book. Give it to your teenagers because some of these teenagers are going through narcissistic abuse relationships already. And then some of them are going through domestic violence already. Some of them going through verbal abuse already. Don't think your teens are not experiencing this. I experienced abuse when I was a teenager and I was what in, in thinking 10th, 10th grade, 11th grade. Uh, so that's what, about 16, 17 years old? 
Um, and I was being abused when I was 16, 17 years old. So don't ever underestimate what your kids are experiencing, what, ki what your kids are going through, because kids, you know, some of your teens are being abused already, moms and dads. And so give them these, you know, buy the book, let them read the book, you know, uh, where they can see, look at the stories to see if they even relate. But most of all, if it's not even, if it's not a narcissist, just a toxic individual, but there's still abuse is abuse. You know, even if it is narcissist abuse, let your teenagers read it. Some teens are going through some stuff, then you don't know anything about it. You know, you don't want your kids committing suicide over something that you could have, uh, you know, in the military, we call preventive maintenance, you know, give them the book, talk about it, open up, open up and talk to them about it. Hey, do you know anything about abuse? What do you think abuse is? What do you think domestic violence is? You know, do you think it's just from, and a lot of them, a lot of people, even adults think domestic violence is only when you put your hands on someone. Well, by the time it escalates and they put your hand, they beat you or put their hands on you, you know, the, the psychological abuse has already occurred for a long period of time, you know, so by the time they strike you or do something physically to you, they've already been abusing you. They've already built themselves up, be bold enough to put their hands on you. So don't underestimate what your kids are going through, okay? So by the book, let them read it. And once again, I really appreciate your support. I love you guys. You guys are my favorite tribe. You know, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's Dr. Carmen Bryant, Overcoming Narcissist Abuse. Um, hit the bell. So you guys, I usually um, pre-record and post videos Tuesday through Friday. Uh, and on Sundays, I normally come on live unless I am traveling. And we did have a guest here um, and we were making sure the guest was taken care of. And so we had conferences going on for the last two weekends. And so last week I was able to come on live, but this time I'm not able to come on live. And I know some of you guys have been asking me because I've seen the messages pop up on my phone. And so I apologize, but I do want you guys to have a wonderful week. Thank you for all your support. Know that I truly love you guys. Go to my Facebook page, it's Overcoming Narcissist Abuse, um, and hit the thumbs up, hit the like button, um, share. Uh, it's an it's psychological health consultant services, my professional. And then my book, is, uh, the book um, Facebook page is Overcoming Narcissist Abuse. Make sure you hit the thumbs up because I post on all of them. I do have a Twitter. I'm trying to be hip, y'all. The, 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 the young folks are trying to keep me uh, up to date. So it is. I have a Twitter account. I feel all special. I have a Twitter account. And at this hashtag, right? Hashtag Dr. Carmen Bryant 1. Uh, you guys can join me. I do put some, you know, some encouraging words in there, you know, from time to time when I have an opportunity, I think of something to say, to encourage. And I do upload the videos in there so you can click and it takes you to the YouTube channel. And then, of course, my Instagram. I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, I'm going to have to talk to somebody about all this social media stuff. But in Instagram, um, it's just a clip of the videos. But you can always join me there. I post stuff on there as well. And so thank you guys so much for joining me. I am going home so that I can go to sleep and take my poor little eyelashes off. So you see my little makeup is gone and you can see my freckles now. See my freckles, y'all? So yes, I do have freckles. So, but thank you guys so much for joining me. I really, truly, truly enjoy you guys. Please make sure you come back on Tuesday. I will be back. If I can't come on tomorrow, I will while we are out and about. Um, if not, I will talk to you guys on Tuesday. Thank you for all your support. Know that you are well loved. I love you guys. You guys have a awesome, awesome start of your week. You guys have a good evening. Now I'm going to turn the camera off without dropping the camera in the seat. You guys have a wonderful evening, okay? And go be great.